Hi, I'm Phil McKnight from Breville, and today I'd like to show you how to get the most out of your Smart Grinder Pro. When grinding for espresso, it's really important that you use a single wall filter basket. That way you'll get the maximum flavour potential of the coffee that you're making. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to insert our single wall filter basket into our porter filter. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you insert the correct cradle into the grinder. So our grinder comes with two cradles, one for 50 slash 54 millimeter and 58 millimeter. Today we're going to use the 58 millimeter. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to grind into our porter filter. So we just insert our porter filter into our grinder cradle. We set our grind size. So here we have it on about 14 to start. Just adjust that depending on flow rate. We're also going to set the number of shots. So we're using a double cup basket, so we're setting this to two shots. And now we can start the grinding process. We can do that by pressing the start cancel button or momentarily just pressing the porter filter in and releasing. So now I've used the convenient pause function. This will allow us to settle and collapse our coffee in the filter basket, then reinsert into the porter filter cradle and continue grinding with the remaining dose. So now our coffee's finished grinding. And this is the way freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee looks. It always looks like you have too much, but once it's tamped, it'll be at exactly the right level. If you love drip filter coffee, it's really easy and convenient to grind directly into a gold tone filter or into a paper filter basket. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is remove the cradle if it's been installed. You need to adjust your grind setting. So you adjust your grind setting up into the drip filter zone. So about 50 is a good starting point. All we need to do then is select the number of cups that we're going to brew. So I'm going to brew four cups. And then we just need to insert our paper filter basket into our grinder and press the start cancel button to begin the grinding process. And there we are, we're ready to brew our drip filter coffee. If for any reason you need to extend the grinding range of your grinder, if you're at the finer setting but still need to go finer, or if you're at the coarsest end and need to go coarser, we have an adjustable upper burr that allows you to extend the range of your grinder. It's easy to use, simple to adjust, and I'll show you how to do that now. All you need to do is empty the beans out of your hopper, unlock the hopper from the top of the grinder, then unlock the upper burr, And once you take that out, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is grab this wire, release it from the burr, then you'll notice on the burr there are numbers. If you'd like the grinder to go coarser, all you need to do is rotate the upper burr clockwise in the direction of where it says coarse, so the numbers are getting larger. Larger number, coarser particle sizes. So just one at a time. We recommend that you only make one adjustment at a time, then you can reinstall, test the result, and make a further adjustment if necessary. Once you've made your adjustment, all you need to do is reinstall the wire handle back into the upper burr body. Use the red index mark as a guide. Stretch it across. Make sure it's inserted firmly in both sides. Now all we need to do is reinstall the upper burr in the body of the grinder. So just align the red mark with the align mark in the grinder body, and then rotate around until it clicks into the locked position. So the Smart Grinder Pro, that's your start to making great tasting coffee.